if you uh, could wish and it would come true, what, what's the perfect level for, uh, and we'll talk, I guess, WTI, since that's what we've been talking about. Where would you like it to be? What's well, the best price? You know, the, the real thing we'd like to see is stability. And uh, commodity markets, when, when they're volatile, they make it hard for investors to, uh, to invest. It's hard on consumers. And so you really need a price that encourages investment and draws in enough new investment, but is not so high that, uh, that it weighs on the economy. We're, we're probably not far from that kind of a price right now. Are we good enough at getting it out, out of the ground where, where this is a very, it's a profitable venture for almost everyone at 53 or not quite? Yeah, I, I think, you know, Brent in the, in the 60s, WTI in the 50s is, uh, is an area where the industry now can, uh, can be profitable. That may not have been true a few years ago, but as we've gone through this last down cycle, uh, people have become more efficient. We're finding new ways to use technology, and uh, and we can make it work in that kind of a range. Hmm. Um, we had some discussions yesterday about what technology advances in um, exploration and development, what that means. To me, it means finding more oil, finding more hydrocarbons. To other people, it, I mean, on the, on the far extreme, it, it, people want to leave it in the ground and, I don't know, have solar and wind power everything, which is obviously not feasible at this point economically or, or for anything else. But how do you view technology? Cleaner? Uh, easier to, to get it out of the ground? Uh, less ancillary position, uh, pollution? Or just low carbon footprints? Well, you know, one of our former CEOs used to say, we're a technology company that actually just happens to produce oil and gas. So it's a very technology intensive industry and always has been. Uh, you look at some of the things that we have available today as big data uh, and some of the tools that that enables uh, has really come to fore. And we're beginning to apply those things uh, to operate more safely, uh, safely, to protect the environment, uh, to be more efficient and take cost out of the system and to be more productive. Uh, a big part of the, the story in the Permian Basin has been moving from the early days of almost brute force trial and error by the, uh, you know, the early frackers to beginning now to really bring technology to bear to become more efficient, to get more productivity out of the, the drilling. And so uh, it is, uh, it's a tremendous story about technology in all its dimensions. What about just exploration itself? It's, it's not the crapshoot it used to be, right? No, we've, be, you know, subsalt, you hear a lot of talk, Brazil, uh, topic here in, in Davos this week. Uh, looking through the salt to try to image the reservoirs beneath that is like looking through a fogged up um, a glass pane uh, the technologies we have now enable us to see through that much better. We can process massive quantities of seismic data much more rapidly and which, with much more precision than we could before. So all of these things are part of taking risk out of the business, improving efficiency and productivity. And, and I mentioned earlier, the industry can operate in this kind of price level now. A big part of that is because technology has made it more profitable.